every few minutes, and there was something of a panic over UFOs. Most of that panic has subsided, but people still see them, especially people in Bucks County. The first time I've ever seen it was above this yellow uh, townhouse. Denise, who didn't want her last name used for fear of weirdos and who has never believed in little green men, has seen UFOs over her backyard five times since April. It was kind of like oval shape, and it was about the size of a car, a small car, and it had three giant headlights on the bottom of it. And since June 25th, between Bucks and Philadelphia, 44 such bogeys have been spotted. How do we know? Well, people like Denise have pictures. Between the, mall, the malls to my right, and Don Pablo's is right here, so there's been V-shaped objects. And because Bob Gardner says so, he's a field investigator for MUFON, the Mutual UFO Network, and he says the sightings over Bucks are legion in regular old neighborhoods right over the Oxford Valley Mall and above the site of the now shuttered Don Pablo's restaurant. What do they want? Where are they from? Where are they going? With the universe advanced, just like Columbus discovered America, these aliens or extraterrestrials are trying to discover new worlds. Of course, none of this explains the mystery of why the Don Pablo's closed down, but maybe the aliens are like everyone else, love Mexican food, and they abducted the kitchen staff. I understand they do that with people they like. In Bucks County, Journal, Colpan Fox, 29 News. Oh, Gerald, check out those pictures of the UFOs again on myfoxfully.com. Just type UFO into our search bar.